Hey guys, Randy Joes here. In today's video, I'm going to show you something really cool. In video number 19 for tips for the noob, I'm going to show you how to make the explosive tipped arrow. Now in the earlier video, I showed you how to make the, the standard bow and arrows, and you just pull sticks out of those, those small trees, those bushy trees, and those uh, plants that are growing on the ground, you can get sticks out of them. But for this, it's going to make them in groups of 10, so you're going to need at least 10 sticks, 10 shotgun rounds, and a roll of duct tape. And I know you're thinking that you've seen that duct tape around and you're like, I didn't take it because I had no idea what it was used for. Well, this is what it's used for. You can save the world with duct tape and 550 cord, and here you go. So you take that duct tape and you pull those sticks and those shotgun rounds over in your discovery boxes, and you're going to be able to discover your explosive tipped arrows. And they don't have a lot of range, but they're pretty impressive for where you can shoot them. And I'll show you that in a little later. So when it says one down there at the bottom on crafting, it's really making 10 at a time. So make sure you have enough supplies to make at least 10 and carry them with you. And I'll show you how to use those here in a little bit. But after uh, the explosive tipped arrow, I'm going to show you how to make the flaming tipped arrow. And uh, they're not as impressive, but they're, they're kind of cool when you shoot a zombie with it and you set them on fire. Or a, a wolf or something of that nature is kind of neat be kind of nice if you could shoot them at people's bases and uh, set their base on fire with it. would be kind of cool. But it doesn't work that way. So anyway, here is the flaming tipped arrow. And these are also crafted um, in groups of five instead of ten like the explosive tip. And you just need the cloth, you need one biofuel, and you need five sticks. And you're going to make them. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to shoot, shoot them off and show you what it looks like. Yeah, and it seems like 75% of the time it's always dark. But for this, for the arrows, the flaming tipped arrows and the explosive tipped arrows, it's kind of better at night to see uh, just what, it, what it's going to look like. Now, you use your B button on your keyboard to change between the different arrows. You'll start off when you first pull out your bow or your crossbow. It's going to start off with just a regular arrow, so you got to hit the B button to switch. And it'll switch to the flaming arrow, what I just shot right there, first. And then you hit the B button again, and it'll go to the explosive tipped arrow. And we'll get one off here in a sec. Got to be careful at night, people lurking around. There's always somebody around here, and always trying to give me trouble. So here we go. Uh, I'm going to switch. Look at that. That's the explosive tipped arrow. It's pretty impressive. You don't have to hit the person. You can just land kind of near them, and it'll take them out. So I was sitting here uh, just alongside my base. I saw that there were some zombies out and about, usually a good indicator that somebody's around. Sure enough, look at that naked guy running up here. And I think I know who it is. He's always giving me grief, so I wasn't playing with him. I think I hit him with the regular arrow right there. I had a regular arrow. I didn't realize it didn't have the explosive tip. So there, when I loaded it back up, then it had the flaming arrow, so I had to switch it a few times to get it back to the explosive tip and you'll see it go off here as he's running away I think I did hit him and switch it back to the explosive tip and there you go look at that pretty impressive so I didn't know if he was by himself there was more with him so I'll wait here a sec before I run down look around the fog gets pretty bad at night it's kinda of weird it comes in pretty pretty nice but when it when it leaves it it goes like all at once. So I'm going to run down here and we'll check and we'll see what we got. It's not, there's hardly any animals in the game now, so you're not going to get too many animals to shoot at. But there's, if you're seeing zombies around, that's a good indication that somebody's around. Because they don't even spawn in unless you're out and about. So here we go. I'm going to go outside here. Here's my little garden. Always doing my garden. Let's go out here and see what we can find. I always like to check around the back side of my base here, make sure there's nobody lurking by that gate, because they, they, like, they like to stand by that gate there and wait for me to come out so they can Shanghai me there. All right, there we go. Here he is. He's already gone, just his breast and then his ribs and spines laying there. He had a good bit of stuff. I'm not real happy about how it renders. It looked like he was naked. He, he certainly wasn't naked. He had a backpack and a lot of stuff on him. So I'm going to get me a little surplus loot here. And then we'll head back up. So have a good one. Hope you enjoyed the video. And learned a little bit about the arrows that you can make for your bow. And we'll catch you in the next video. So have a good one.
时一样。